the guy who actually brought the Avengers together. Hey guys, it's your boy, we back with more Marvel Video Bite content and we are talking about one and only Phil slash Agent Coulson. Agent is his first name <laughs> from Iron Man. So yeah, he is amazing. And now why am I talking about this? You might know, you might not know if you have been playing this game for quite a while. For a long time actually I should say. He has gotten this uniform and if you guys remember when there was literally like no support character in the game. He was the guy to go with and he was the only support at that time for uh, characters. He was the best you know. Uh, and he was the best because of this beautiful passive. 20% guarantee critical rate as well as 45% damage to villain types. Now we have so many characters with like 55 and more, but he still holds his value because of the guarantee critical rate. And this is what we will be taking advantage of in this video. And this might help you guys a lot. Now, talking about certain characters like Luna, you need White Fox, okay? That she is by far the best support for her. Absolutely, there is no denying that but we have been testing so many teams with the uh, luna snow as uh, literally you know when she came out and we found that misty knight in particular was insane if you again have the black panther shuri uniform this is gonna be better than misty knight and which is supposed to be the best team up for luna snow but phil colson still does the job if you're using this team up the good thing about this team up is that you do not need a leadership. If you're running ABX, you can go White Fox leadership, Colson and Luna. If you're running Alliance Battle Legend ABL, then you can go Luna leadership it's, uh, itself. So this is my own account, by the way. Uh, my build, I gave her my only brilliant rage, which I had. Bad roll though, 280 BR that I got from last uh, anniversary. And Mighty Insight on Fox as well. Of course, Cajun, uh, Cajun, Agent Colson doesn't have anything. So we'll be comparing two team ups today. First of all, we'll go with the Misty Knight team up, which is supposed to be the best. You can also go wave, they're about the same, but Misty Knight slightly better if you have a better run. Uh, and then we'll try out this one. This is how my card look like, barely about like 120% or something physical at uh, energy attack on my cards and 22% peers. I need to work on my swords as well. It's really bad. So my uh, my scores actually suffer because of that. And Alliance Battle, you know, uh, when you look at all the rankings and everything, Alliance Battle Legend might be different from the ABX. The reason is very simple. Uh, Alliance Battle Extreme ABX does not have as much high defenses on the ABX Beast. While Alliance Battle Legend Surter actually has pretty amazing actually buffs to himself and his defenses are also way way above the beast that is why you might have seen uh, like if you have a mighty rage versus if you have a brilliant rage on luna snow the score difference or not just luna snow any character the score difference in alliance battle extreme abx is not much compared to alliance battle legend I've seen characters having say 500k, 600k to even 1 plus million score increase when they switch from a mighty rage to a brilliant rage. Although that does not happen, uh, that basically does not happen in Alliance Battle Extreme because of the low defenses. And because the low defenses are like really consistent, like you don't actually have to, they don't get raised up unless you are, I think, going for silent season if you don't cancel. But we have cancel metas anyways. That is the meta now. So the reason is you get about 64% I believe or I forgot 60% uh, damage decrease or damage ignore on the normal rage right mighty rage stays the same brilliant rage actually the standard is the 65 that you get then if you have a 1.1 percent accumulation you go to 66 and if you have a max roll 1.2 accumulation then you can get up to 67 percent of bosses defense ignore and because abx bosses like the beast is defense ignore like defenses uh, in general are not that high even though you have more defense ignore but you can't ignore more defense if there is literally no more defense. <laughs> you know, it's it's sort of like that. That is actually why you might find that Alliance Battle Legend might have a bigger jump while having reforged rages compared to ABX. 
normal to mighty still is big uh, in ABX, but not exactly from might to brilliant as an ABL. So anyway, that was like the whole story about that. Thank you for listening to me. If you did and not mute this video, uh, <laughs> uh you know it's it's nice uh you know share some knowledge and stuff <laughs> so yeah it works nice uh i like luna snow honestly yeah some people find her really hard to play or something i don't think so but look at this look at my leg <laughs> this happens sometimes with me this is on very low graphics and i think i need a like a better phone or something so 12.4 with this team up my best with this team up has been 12.7 Okay, 12.7 is my best with this team up. This one, we do not have a leadership, so we're just going Luna. If I had the music on, probably it is possible that you might be able to play with Luna's music, the Really Wanna, whatever. I think the, I Really Wanna something, uh, something like that. That's the name of the music. So you can try it out. Uh, it was nice to play. It's nice to play with our own theme songs, you know, something different from the Marvel Future Wide music. Although I do. Uh, missed the old music you know in my old feature fight i really love that one anyways as we have the phil colson you will notice one big change from uh say someone like misty knight to phil colson and that will be the proc timings you will see my proc is much more consistent now with the phil colson compared to what it was with the uh you know misty knight now, sometimes you might early proc, so that could be an issue at times. If you're not fast enough with your skills, you might be getting early procs, which is also bad for Luna, you know. And you want basically, when you start using the fifth skill, that is actually when you want the procs. Now, this is a really bad run, like not a bad run, but not a really good run, because as you saw, I collected the light phase orb really quickly. I was really... That was my mistake, I should have waited. And that actually can cost you 100, 200K every, uh, you know, about like every light phase. That can definitely increase or decrease your score, depending on that. So try to get, say, a bit delayed light, you know. Delayed light phase is the way to go for Luna. Also delayed tier three skill also is the way for, way for Luna. So that's how it goes. Anyways, not to mention, uh, the good thing is that we are still doing some nice damage. It's not exactly the best score. I have about 8.4 before this rower. So actually, this is pretty awesome. This is amazing, actually. I like this one. And yeah, absolutely. I can do more. About 9 million uh, before the one minute phase, like the one minute marker, is pretty nice for my build, honestly. Like, I wish I could score more. But my cards and swords are just holding me back. Plus that rage roll that I have on my brilliant is really bad. Basic standard roll and just 280 rage. 300 actually helps a lot. So I hope I can get something around Black Friday when I try to roll this thing again. And maybe if not, uh, again, look at that. Early right, that was again my mistake. I got early light once again. So this run was not exactly to my likings, you know. I did not exactly enjoy this thing, but anyways, uh, it's all right. It's gonna be better than what we got. We already have 12 million, so we will go past this thing. 12.4, we already beat the Misty team up. Now, if the light was slightly delayed, we might have had a few seconds of extra light damage ending 12.84. And if you see the end score, you can see 13 million was the best and I got with this team up first run. So, it's easily 300k, 400k better than my Misty Knight run. Although if I run, say, if I had the Shuri uniform, I think I can get to about the same as the Colson team up. But I'm planning to get the Shuri uniform during Black Friday. I'm not rushing at the moment. So I'm going to do it around Black Friday for discounted price. But if you are struggling to get a proc, you know, a good run, I would say, or if you do not have the Shuri's uniform, I would say going for Colson is a really good idea. It's a very, pro like, honestly, a really uh, easy character to build. You don't even actually have to build. And even this uniform is gold. Although even if you have him as base form, he's still useful. I'm really waiting for the Secret Invasion uniform for Nick Fury. I hope he comes back to the meta. Plus the tier 3 skill is gonna make Nick Fury very, very important for World Boss Legend and GBR. I would love to see some heroes really kick ass in those content. Anyways, 
let me know what you think about the video try this team up let me know if you did get a better score specifically with luna snow in the comment section definitely do like the video if you enjoyed it also subscribe the channel if you really like watching the content that is really appreciated anyways thank you so much for watching guys i hope to see you guys in the next one with more mahal feature by content thanks for watching see ya